Hey everybody, so something you may not know about me is that I love geography. I love looking at maps and knowing where different places are in the world, and I thought, wouldn't it be a nice idea to combine my love for geography with my love for Disney? So I thought, why not go ahead and map out where all of the Disney shows take place? So I got a website pulled out here that will allow me to do that. And I got a list of a whole bunch of Disney shows from many different eras. Some from the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. But I don't have every single Disney show ever made. First of all, I don't have any Disney XD shows. This is strictly Disney because if I included Disney XD shows too, it would be like a really, really long list. And it's already long enough with just Disney stuff. And there was also a bunch of shows that I couldn't find, like, the location of because they never said so. And there's also a bunch of shows that, like, take place in space or in a different dimension. So, of course, they're not going to be anywhere on Earth, so I can't really map them out. But enough blabbing. Let's get right into it. So the first show on our list is none other than The Famous Jet Jackson. Okay, so where does it say this show takes place? Wilsted, North Carolina. So Wilsted is a fictional city in North Carolina. Okay, address... Um, we'll just say North Carolina. Ooh! I can't believe I'm misspelling stuff. I was in the spelling bee in 8th grade. I got 3rd place out of 25 and look at me. All these years later still misspelling stuff. Um, oh, I can put a description? Okay. The famous Jet Jackson. Such an underrated show. I wish they would put it on Disney+. Plus. Okay, good. I got that one plotted out. How do I zoom? Okay. There, I just said North Carolina. Yep. Okay, what's number two? Even Stevens, Sacramento, of course. Even Stevens. Okay, good. I like it that it's like this, so I don't have to keep zooming out. Lizzie McGuire, they just say Southern California, so I'm just going to put... Southern California. Lizzie McGuire. Yep. Okay. Um The Proud Family. Wizardville, California, which is not it's another fictional city. So, um but it's clearly Southern California, just like Lizzie McGuire. So I'm just going to put Southern California. Or just California in general, because I don't even know if it's Southern California. Uh, the Proud Family. Okay, add location. All right. Um, what's next? Kim Possible. Um, Middleton which is another fictional city, but it takes place clearly in Colorado. If you look at the context clues of that show, it's clearly in Colorado. Um, what's next? That's So Raven. We all know San Francisco, the Bay Area. Okay. Um, that's so Raven. Sorry if I'm not looking into the camera as often as I should be. I'm just so focused on this. Okay. Next is Lilo and Stitch the series. Okay. Uh, ooh. Hawaii. Hanapepe, Hawaii. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm sorry to my Hawaiians. Hanapepe, Hawaii, as Cat Valentine would say. 
um, description. Oh, Lilo and Stitch. Ooh. <laughs> they had to zoom out that far. Hawaii is really that far away? Wow. Oh my goodness. Why is it part of the United States if it's that far away? I mean, at least Alaska makes sense because it's part of like the continent, but Hawaii is all the way over there. Hmm. Okay, next. Um, Phil of the future. They just say Pickford, California, and Pickford is another fictional city. So I'm just gonna say California. We're getting a lot of California. Um, Phil of the future. Add location. Did it do it? Let me zoom in, because Hawaii done messed us up. Number, Phil of the future, I put number eight. Okay, there it is. Um, what's next? E. American Dragon, Jake Long. New York City. Yes. Is this our first show to take place in New York? I think it is. Wow. As big, as important as that city is, and as, as many people live there, this is the first show, the first Disney show to take place there. Hmm. Um, New York City. Oh, wow. New York City, American Dragon, Jake Long. What's next? The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Boston. The closest show on this list to where I am currently living. Okay, what's next? The Emperor's New School, which is um, the television version of The Emperor's New Groove, which of course takes place in Peru. So I'm just gonna put Peru. Somewhere in Peru. Um, the Emperor's The Emperor's New Groove. Add location. Yep, Peru right there. Got it. What's next? Hannah Montana, Malibu. Okay, now we know why um, Miley Cyrus made the song Malibu, because clearly that city has a hold on her from the very beginning. Okay, there we go. Let me zoom in, because most of the shows here are on, like, the continental... I don't even know if that's the right word. But, you know, the 48 states that are here, like, not including Alaska and Hawaii, like, most of the Disney shows take place in, like, the United States, but, like, in the 48 states that are all conjoined. Okay, where am I now? I just did Hannah Montana, what's next? The Replacements, it takes place in another fictional city called Pleasant Hills, but it's in Indiana. The Replacements, Indiana, where is it? There we go. And then next is Corey, Corey and House. Washington, D.C. Represent. Go ahead. <laughs> Washington, D.C. Corey in the house. Okay, what's next? Phineas and Ferb. 
Um, they just say the tri-state area, Danville, which is another fictional city, I'm assuming. But they say tri-state area, and by that, the only tri-state area in the United States is like New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. So I'm assuming the show takes place there. Even though growing up, I always assumed that the show took place in Georgia, which made no sense because um, it snows there in the winter in wherever Phineas and Ferb live. And I've lived in Georgia, and it doesn't snow there in the winter. Anyways. Let me see. Where am I now? Phineas and Ferb, Dan... Okay. We'll just put... New York. We'll just say New York City, even though that's clearly not it. Because they just say tri-state area. I'm like... And I really want to include the show because it's a very, very big part of Disney. It's one of the... I think it's the most successful cartoon show or longest running one that they've ever had, so I have to include it, but... Okay, I'm just gonna do that. It's my video, I can do whatever I want, I guess. Okay, next, Wizards of Waverly Place, yes. N another New York City. My favorite Disney show of all time. And it's coming back this year, so yay. Where am I? Oh, okay. There we go. Because they're all on top of each other. Sunny with a chance. Hollywood. Sunny with a chance of meatballs. Um, Jonas slash Jonas LA. So, this is the first show on our list where it takes place in two different locations. Because for season one, it takes place in New Jersey. But for season two, it takes place in Los Angeles. They had a whole um, move. So, I guess I'll just put um, New Jersey. And I'm just going to put... Jonas one and then Los Angeles and then I'm gonna put Jonas LA because technically they renamed the show they put a whole different thing on it like Hannah Montana forever Okay, next, ooh, next is Good Luck Charlie, Denver. Good Luck Charlie, which I hope makes a comeback because it has like, it's literally the only Disney show where the plot for the comeback or the reboot is right there. It's literally just Charlie grown up watching Teddy's video diaries. Genius. Okay, next is Shake It Up, Chicago. Oop, I keep misspelling stuff. Shake It Up. And then Ant Farm, another San Francisco. Um, Jesse, New York City. Jesse, ooh, there we go. And then next is, um, Austin and Ali, Miami. I can't believe we're getting our first Miami after all this time. 
Austin and Allie. Woo! Miami is that far south. Okay, next is Gravity Falls, which is another fictional city. Um, it's in Oregon, so I'm just gonna put Oregon. And then Dog with the Blog, which takes place in Pasadena, California. Um, there's a city in Texas called Pasadena. And back when I used to live in Houston, I assumed that Dog with the Blog took place in that Pasadena. It doesn't. Of course, it's California. It's always California. Dog with a Blog. What's next? Live in Maddie, which takes place in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, which I thought was a fictional city until I did research for this video. So apparently it's a real place. Stevens Point, Wisconsin, Live and Maddie. Okay, right in the center. Uh, oh wait, this is another show where it takes place in two different, because in the last season, Liv and Maddie takes place in Malibu? Yeah, right along with Hannah Montana. I wonder if the last season of Hannah Montana takes place in Malibu. I assume. Well, it was too late to go back and change it anyways. Okay. Liv and Maddie... S4. Stands for season four. Okay, next is I Didn't Do It, which takes place in Evanston, Illinois, which is really, really close to Chicago. So I'm just going to put Chicago. Actually, no. That's disrespectful. I'm just gonna put Evanston, Illinois. I didn't do it, or did I? Yep, I did it. Girl Meets World, New York City. Okay, next is Casey Undercover, which takes place in Washington, DC. Um, Corinda House and Casey Undercover in Washington, D.C. What a show. Next is Star vs. the Forces of Evil, which takes place in Echo Creek, which is a neighborhood in Los Angeles. I don't know if it's real or not. I didn't care enough to look, but... That's where it takes place for the first two seasons, and then I think it takes place in a different dimension for the rest of the show. So I'm just going to put Los Angeles, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, um, Season 1 slash 2. What's next? Best friends whenever. Portland, Oregon. Not oregano, Oregon. It seems like such a strange state to me. I'm sorry if you live in Oregon, I just, it seems like such an odd state the Pacific Northwest. What show is here? Okay, Best Friends Whenever. Okay, what's next? On our list, it's Bunked. Okay. Oh, 
It takes place in Moose Rump, Maine, which I think is a fictional place. But then if I search up Moose Rump, Maine, there is a place called Musikatchik, which translates to Moose Rump. But I don't know what language that original word is in, but it translates to Moose Rump. And it's in a place called Cope, Cape, Razi, Cape Rosier, Maine. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Cape Rosier, Maine. And then bunked. Okay. What's next? <clears throat> Stuck in the Middle, which takes place in Marshport, another fictional city, in Massachusetts. So I'll just put Massachusetts. I don't know why, but when I was little, I made it a mission to know how to spell Massachusetts. So even now, as an adult, I know how to spell it with my eyes closed just like in my hands tied behind my back, just M-A-S-S-A-C-H-U-S-E-T-T-S. -E Massachusetts. Stuck in the middle, okay, I was like, what show am I? Okay, next is Bizarre Vark, which takes place in Tarzana, California, which is a, a suburb of Los Angeles. How do you spell Bizarre Vark? Who greenlit this show? That's literally the only question I have. But I guess it gave Olivia Rodrigo her start, and now she's like a huge pop star. So. I guess that's something good that came out of it. But the show, my goodness. It also gave one of the Paul brothers his start and not a lot of good has come out of that. What number am I on now? 36, okay. Andy Mack, which takes place in A fictional state called Midwest. There's a region of the country called the Midwest, and it's where I'm from. It's where I'll, it's where my hometown is. It's right here, but there's no city or state called Midwest. So where am I gonna have to put this? Let's just say. Let's just type in Midwest and see what it does. Andy Mack. Okay, it put it in Wyoming. Okay, we'll just have to go with that then. Next is Raven's Home, the sequel to That's a Raven, and it takes place in Chicago for the first four seasons. Ooh. Chicago, Raven's... Ooh, Raven's Home, one through four. And then it takes place in San Francisco for the last two seasons. Um, Raven's Home, five and six. I have no idea whether or not that show is still going on because they haven't renewed it so it's like pending but bunked is still going on and it has seven seasons which is pretty average for like a regular sitcom but for a children's sitcom that's incredible especially when you remember that most children's sitcoms run for like three or four seasons if they're the popular ones 
But seven, that's ridiculous. Not ridiculous. That's congratulations for breaking Disney, um, the limitations. But I'm like, what do they have to talk about for seven seasons? Do they have enough material? Okay, anyways, next. Coop and Cammy Ask the World. Now, this is like the era of Disney Channel where I was just like way too old to be watching, so I didn't. Um, but I just included these shows because I know that like I do have some younger people who watch me and they might know these shows and love them. And also, this is the only show that takes place in my home state. So, of course, I'm going to include it. Um, it takes place in North Plains, a fictional city in the greatest state of this entire nation, Minnesota. Yeah, my home state. Okay, where is... So I'm just going to put Minnesota. Um, Coop and Cami ask the world. There we go. Right there next to St. Paul or St. Cloud. We got a lot of saints in Minnesota because we are just that holy. <laughs> okay, next is Sydney to the Max, another Portland, Oregon. I'm sorry, it just still seems like such a strange state to me. Oregon. And to make matters worse, um, it's the other Portland. You know, the bigger Portland. Okay, Sydney to the max. What is so, okay. Um, Just Roll With It takes place in Akron, Ohio. We don't have a lot of states taking place like in the middle of the country. A lot of them is just like on the coasts, which I guess makes sense because a lot of people live in the coasts areas. What show is this? Just roll with it. I only know about the show because Jason Earls made a guest star appearance and he was referencing Hannah Montana. Um, next is Gabby Duran and the Unsittables. Havensburg, another fictional city in Colorado. This, these people really love Colorado. I think I might know why. Because it's the only place where something is legal. I'm not going to say what because I'm going I'm to keep it PG, but if you know, you know. I'm just going to put Gabby Duran. I don't have time to type out that whole title. And then the last show on our list is The Villains of Valley View, which takes place in Valley View, Texas. Okay, Valley View, Texas. Um, I'm just going to put Villains. I don't have time to type out that whole title. Okay, so I have 44 different places plotted out and we can look for ourselves and see where all the shows take place. Over here is Cusco with the Emperor's New Groove. Over here is Lilo and Stitch and over here is everybody else. Okay, so we can clearly see the breakdown. I would say most of the shows take place in California, which I guess makes sense because a lot of Disney Channel shows are live action shows and it's kind of hard to do a live action show set in a different city or a different state when you don't live in that state. But these are all like on sound stages, so it wouldn't matter what it looks like outside because they can just, because everything takes place inside. They could just recreate, but then it always ends up looking fake, like when they do snow. Okay, anyways, but yeah, 
everything takes place in California, some over here in Oregon. Um, what is this in Texas? Oh, okay, the villains. I just did that one. And then uh, some stuff in the Northeast, some stuff around here in the Midwest, some stuff over here. But yeah, most of the middle of the country is just like barren. And then over here, Austin and Alley in Miami. But yeah, I just think it's fun to look at where all these shows take place. And I love geography. I love looking at all of this. I love looking at maps. And maybe I should like print this out or something so I can keep it. Because this is like really, really cool. But yeah, I just think it's fun to look at where all these shows take place and where some shows need to take place. Like I would love to see a Disney show that takes place in Idaho. The Boys of Boise. What's up? I'd love to see that. Something in Missouri. Why not? But yeah, because I think we're getting way too much California, way too much um, New York. We need more variety. But yeah, this was a fun experiment and I'm glad that you guys could enjoy this video. If you did, you know, like and subscribe, thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.